And now I'm uh, happy uh, once again to introduce Bishop Yergi, who ha will have the pleasure of recognizing um, some long and significant service of the clergy of this synod. I'd like to invite, as I uh, begin this, anyone who is celebrating a 40th anniversary of ordination to come forward to receive a certificate. We honor you this day. You know who you are, and I'll announce your names when you get up here. Uh, in page 20 of the celebrations and worship booklet, you will find some of the biographies, both of the Synodical Discipleship Awards and the Congregational Discipleship Award folks, um, and for the 50th anniversary of ordination for Pastor Paul Hoffman. Um, and you will hear that in a moment. Um, on page 92 and following of the pre-assembly book, you will find all of the anniversaries for all of our folks. I would like to just talk about a few of them. For the first time in memory, we have no pastors or associates in ministry celebrating their 25th anniversary. So the people we are here uh, to celebrate now, we have nine pastors, I don't think they're all here, who are celebrating their 40th anniversary of ordination. Some of them are retired, some are retiring, and some are energizer bunnies. They just keep on going with energy and power of the Spirit. I am delighted to introduce them to you as we honor them for their years of service. And I'll just ask you to hold your applause till the end. When your name's called, why don't you take a giant step forward so that they can know who you are. Neil Cotterman, I don't think is here. Jim Dugan, Rick Baer, Michael Lubis, Hans Ermer, Dennis Meyer, Jim Houlihan, David Ropel, and Marsha Ermer. Thank you for your serving. I am also delighted that we have someone celebrating their 60th anniversary of ordination here with us. He came uh, special for this occasion. He traveled here all the way from the Gettysburg area. Is Pastor John Ferringer in the room, 60th anniversary of ordination. He was here earlier today. Is he here? Ah, well, let's applaud him anyway. And once again, Pastor James Ziegenfuss, who I do know is here, our senior of synod. He's able to be with us. He was ordained in 1944 and is celebrating his 69th anniversary of ordination. Thanks to his son, Paul. I'm not quite done. Just a second. Thanks to his son, Paul, he continues to preach in and around Northeast Pennsylvania. And thanks to the good Lord above, he continues to have the most amazing twinkle in his eye. I invite you to join me in giving thanks to God for the life and ministry of Pastor James Ziggy Ziggenfuss. is a model both of ministry and of life-giving love and compassion and proclamation of hope through the years. Thank you so much. This year we had just one 50th anniversary of ordination and he is not present with us. Though his biography is in the booklet, I really did think it was important to introduce him to you because very few, if any of you, have ever met him. 
The Reverend Paul Edward Hoffman, you see his picture there, is the son of a pastor. He grew up in upstate New York and still has family who live here. He has connections with Trinity Old Lutheran in Egertsville. His parents and grandparents were members there. He was baptized at Reformation Church in Buffalo, which is now part of Prince of Peace Lutheran Church in Depew. He grew up at St. Paul's in Blossom and St. John's in Elma, both of which were German-speaking congregations and where his father was the pastor. He attended Wagner College and the Lutheran Theological, <laughs> and the Lutheran Theological Seminary at Philadelphia. Do we have another yay? <laughs> but he has never served one day as a pastor on the territory of upstate New York Synod. <laughs> so the text I selected to characterize Pastor Hoffman's ministry is Acts 16, verse nine. During the night, Paul had a vision. There stood a man of Macedonia pleading with him and saying, come over to Macedonia and help us. And when he had seen the vision, we immediately tried to cross over to Macedonia, being convinced that God had called us to proclaim the good news to them. This text represents Pastor Hoffman's missionary spirit. He ser served the Lutheran World Federation in several capacities, particularly in the area of theological study. And then he was called to teach in Addis Ababa, in Ethiopia at the Makane Jesus Seminary there. So he's had a, a hand in training up pastors in the Ethiopian church for years. He's continued to return there regularly to teach and to visit with those whom he came to know so well. He served as the Near East Secretary of the Berliner Missionswerk. Thank you, Charles, for teaching me how to say that today which sent him around the world in work on behalf of that organization. Pastor Hoffman married Luisa in 1960, and they have lived in Berlin, Germany, when they're not traveling around the world. He continues to send me papers and sermons that he has written, and whenever he's home, every like three or four or five years, he calls me up and says, are you gonna be around, can we have lunch? He's an amazing biblical and theological scholar and has a wonderful mind. And yet he's really down to earth in his ability to convey what he knows. For his 80th birthday, he completed a memoir of his life and ministry. He has written a hymn uh, for his, uh, it was for his 80th birthday, I believe, based on a prayer from prison by Dietrich Bonhoeffer. Since he is not here to receive our thanks for his ministry, I've asked Neil if he would project three verses, one, two, and four from this hymn. The tune we'll use is Londonderry Air or Danny Boy, whichever one you know best. Um, I think the hymn itself will give you a bit of a sense of the depth of his faith and the way he has served around the world on your behalf. May our song to God be our thanksgiving for Pastor Hoffman's missionary spirit. I'm gonna need some help, thank you. Can we start from the beginning again so we can get singing with you? Oh God, to you I cry this
protect me from this war.